Hey, you beautiful YouTubers. This is Sean Cardwell, AKA the Grape Slushies. Yeah. We got these brand new Aztec Odyssey bars right here. Super cool. T bars, matte black, love matte black. Uh, we got the Raptor grips on there. These bars are coming in at 23 wide and about 27.5 tall with no slit in them. We're gonna be using SCS today, specifically our Urban Art SCS right here. Another matte color, uh, blue, super cool. And all Urban Art SCSs come with a shim. So if you're running standard or oversized, this is compatible. That's going to be attached to our downside Bohemian fork right there. Really cool fork. We're gonna be riding on our Elite Supreme Air Ride UHR wheels, ADA-A, air ride technology, super color, cool color scheme right here. We got the blue on blue, it's like a teal. It's gonna go great with our, our Hella Grip that we're gonna talk about in a second. And a cool little, little design on that guy right there. To keep everything spinning, we're gonna be using our Fasten integrated headset here. It's nice matte black, keeping almost our entire matte theme going. Ooh, almost just dropped it right there. And we've been waiting for this deck to come out for quite a while here, worth the wait. The Aztec Trilogy deck. Yeah, this thing is sweet. Uh, we're running only the 4.5 by 21 inch long model right here. Keep it lightweight. Uh, they also offer one in a five inch wide 22, which is something your boy would be riding. But uh, for this build, we're keeping it what the general mass would like. And that's 4.5 by 21. It's coming in really light. Uh, they've done some really cool extrusions on here. Uh, box extrusion with still plenty of thick metal. Matte black, I love the look. Uh, stylistically, milling on the head tube also removes slight a bit of weight and looks super freaking cool. You got the weight saving cutting out the front. Uh, nice angled with a little bit of grind plate right there. Not really grind plate, a little bit of like a, a bash plate, keep your fingers from going in there. Flat sides for finger whips, cool graphics. Uh, since it is anodized, it can be a little, uh, a little sticky on your first couple of grinds. They've already removed that for you, so you're good to start grinding super smoothly right away. And to make sure your feet stay glued onto your deck, we have our Hella Grip ice box, matching my shirt, matching the wheels, keeping everything super fresh. All right, let's do it. So we already got the grip tape installed just to make sure, not in the park with uh, razor blades causing dangerous conditions here. Our fork does not have an integrated crown race on it. Luckily the fastening comes with a super easy install like I was saying earlier, it's just got a cut in there. So it makes install really easy, literally just slides over. Bam, you're done. Uh, we're gonna put the fork on first. And as always, just put a little bit of grease inside there. We have our mobile grease system that <laughs> Walter designed. Make sure to find him on Snapchat and uh, Instagram, Waltero. All right, we're gonna put our Fasten headset on there. So again, crown race, got your bottom headset. Slide it all up in there. There you go, your top bearing. A lot of times we get calls about, oh, my headset's rattling back and forth. Make sure you put your compression ring in there. Otherwise, there's still lots of play. Compression ring makes it a lot tighter and actually allows it to compress. All right, we're gonna put on our SES right now. It's that Urban Art, the matte blue. All Urban Art clamps, even the minis, come with a shim. So regardless of if you're riding oversized or standard, you'll be able to run this clamp. Uh, we're putting on some headset spacers here just because we did not have enough clearance between the fork uh, and the SCS to actually work as a compression. As you can see here, it's going up a little bit past halfway. Let's go ahead and throw on our Elite Signature Series 110 millimeter air ride technology. That means it's hollow on the inside, a little bit lighter. Don't lose your back spacers. They are super rare, especially for this one. You're not gonna find another spacer that fat. Set those right there so we don't lose them. All right, the bottom half of our scooter is all together and looking good. Just time to throw those handlebars on. We've got our shim to make sure we can run our standard bars. And this build is almost done right there. So this whole scooter came together super clean, black and blue, uh, checking it out. Matte colors all over. A little bit of shininess comes in in our wheels and our fork but they're touching so it doesn't look bad. Matte black deck, beautiful blue, dark blue and light blue, just like on the wheels, the dark blue of the 
the clamp from Urban Art, our downside fork, our dark blue Raptor grips, nice and thick, so you can land all your tricks. Matte black here, you know what you guys are waiting for. You wanna hear this dial bad boy, super light too. So let's check it out. Another custom build. Woo, it's so light you can hear the resonance frequencies in that. So that completes our super awesome custom build. Everything came together super smooth and glad. Uh, if you wanna buy this complete, you can. If you're the first one, it can be bought right here. At the end of my fingertip. Click that link and you can buy this scooter. Isn't that sick, guys? You can click on other links all around here. <laughs> we got other custom builds, like one from my buddy Walter. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Comment who your favorite builder is. Crazy stuff you want us to do. Any cool parts you want us to build for the next one. We do our best to take those into consideration. And for now, I'm signing off. See you guys later.